Hello, everyone. I'd like to introduce Mr. Tariq Al Marbati, founder of JM Coolers. Uh, my name is uh, Tariq Jamal Marbati, on the uh, JM Cooler factory. I was working in the Gulf petrochemical industry and uh, operation-wise. So, I, uh, my success story or my uh, idea or my product, it was a mixture between uh, industrial thing and with the home purposes, I think. So, how I start from the scratch or from uh, sketch. Sketch list uh, features and function. Future defined the physical feeling and appearances while functioning uh, described capa uh, the capability. In other words, what does your idea looks like and what it can do? Okay, <clears throat> anything is new. But I believe you're uh, searching for something new to make something new. It's not existing anywhere in the world. Okay, so you have to imagine it. Okay, then I have to know what is going to do for uh, the people because it is uh, you're going to make a product, a prototype. So you have to put it uh, from uh, from your mind into the paper. Okay, and you have to make out it, uh, what it looks like and. Uh, how, what is going to do for the people, how it will serve uh, the people. Prototype functionality. Find items at home, hardware, st uh, hardware uh, stores, which have one or more of the function of the idea, C carefully separate the needed uh, parts and pieces from those items to use in your prototype. This uh, step help identify the type of uh, material may you be used uh, during the manufacturing. So, as we said, it's nothing is existing. And this time you have the idea, you are sketched uh, your prototype in the paper, so you have to find uh, the materials going to use it, okay? So what is the easiest way to go and use this, uh, or to find the materials you want it? So go to market, in your home, you have an old computer, you want something, uh, uh, let's say a cloth washing machine, you want to build a pump, just uh, take from a uh, thing around you. Okay, this is what will help you later on for uh, manufacturing it. As simply required. Use hot glue, staples, tapes, or anything that gets uh, the prototype to be assembled. This is step focus to help uh, functionality. So, at this stage, now you have got all the equipment, the materials you need it, okay? Uh, so now you have to assemble it, okay? Sometimes you bring, uh, let's say, a small tower to fix a uh, air comp compress, it's not aligned, okay, aligned, it's okay, the gluing is not okay. So at this stage, you're going to set up your prototype. Uh, prototype form. The goal of this step is to shape and form the prototype based on the initial sketch and the function, functioning uh, prototype. So now you did the setup, everything is all right. Okay, I'll go back to the sketch. Is it doing what, what I am planning for it? So this is, a, uh, we call it as a pre-testing for your prototype. Now, the prototype is ready, okay? You have it, but not as a final product, just a, a prototype. At that, at that time, what you're going to do, you're going to create it before it becomes to the production, okay? So what you're going to do, mold it from rubber or from fiberglass or whatever material that uh, you have as a product is existing uh, with you. Repetition and needed. Parts which made or used to create the prototype can be rechanged as needed for manufacturability or the minimize the cost. So what's the meaning of that one? Okay, now all your prototype is ready. Okay, let's say you're going to make this microphone. Okay, so you did everything. This is your project. Okay, just one piece is very difficult to remanufacture it or to, to make it, the, so the cost will be high. At this stage, you can change the molding type or uh, the manufacturing type in the easiest way and uh, the cheapest way. Final product. This is, an, uh, this is a final stage. The sketch of the prototype is solid now. Start connecting the supplier and manufacturer to turn the prototype into a mass production. Now, at this stage, everything is ready. Your mold, your things, you know which part you're going to use it. Now, خلاص, you have to go and contact your uh, manufacturer or factories to produce it for you. And this is the way which is I uh, use it in uh, my factory. And good luck for uh, all people. Good luck to you. <laughs> my product actually work uh, in summer in Gulf uh, or in GCC region. The water is too hot. 
Okay, to cool down the water, there is two types of solvent. The chiller itself, the compressor, with the gas, with all this stuff. Okay, and the other one, the normal fan. There is advantages and disadvantages for both, both of them. Okay, let's go for the chiller system. The chiller system, it's give you good enough cooling, but the cost for buying it and the cost for uh, power is very high. Okay, this is one disadvantages. And the other one, okay, it's the fan. It will cool down the water, but in the peak summer, it will, uh, it will not give you any effect. So my idea from where it came, how to get the efficiency of the chiller and using the low power cost. So I mix all this uh, together, I get one new thing. This was my idea. It was based on uh, cooling or evaporative uh, system. Okay, the idea how it came, one day I was going to the toilet, I wanted to take a shower. Okay, I have a chiller in the home. At that day it was uh, not working, out of service. Okay, I opened the, uh, the shower, the water is coming from up, when I'm putting my hand, it's so hot. So I tried to sit down, the, the water coming, was taking the shower, it's uh, more cold than the uh, uh, upper side. So it's the ideas came from here. If I put my hand, it's here hot, downside is uh, cold. Why? How it's become uh, cold? It was a particle of the water, and air was starting to each other, and it releases its temperature. So my idea, I changed it. So I, can, I used uh, one fan and a small pump, and instead of compressor, all this stuff, Okay, the consumption for the original which is available around 50 watts. Okay, and what I did 110 watts. Or, uh, but uh, the chiller was uh, taking 3000 watts. So I save energy, and uh, energy is mean I burning the gas to get an energy and pollution, all these things. So I'm reducing that one. Actually, I, uh, after the make uh, the idea, I make a demo type, demo type, okay, then I show to the BDB, Bahrain uh, Development Incubator. No, no, the, the incubator, not the bank, okay? Yeah, BBIC, yeah. Mm -hmm. I show them my idea, they satisfy with it, they say, okay, go ahead, they give me the place to work, and they give me the capital, and now we're in the production. Yeah, we are still sitting now. We have a factory, you did it, from scratch to production. We'll go all through this. Uh, and Bahrain is. Okay. How the summer, let's say the weather now, uh, the summer is 42 to 45. I'm getting the best in uh, midday, it was 29 to 30 degree. Okay. Yeah, which is you cannot uh, take a shower, you feel cold yeah, on that temperature. I did for one year testing for uh, the machine. So the capacity, because you know the average of the tank, oh, not, will not uh, go more than four or 500 gallons for, uh, for the, each house. Okay, so. The capacity for the machine to go up to 700 gallon. Actually, every two cycle, the temperature will go to what you are required. One cycle for uh, to go to half the temperature, the other cycle to go to the, to the minimum temperature. It will take uh, to cool down, let's say, uh, three to four hours. Everything becomes fine. So don't forget, you have a night time. It will cool down till morning. When you're using, not suddenly you're going all the water from the tank. You're taking a little, to bub little, taking a little to bub little. So that's why a full day it will be cold. And uh, especially in Riyadh, we did that test there. They cannot run it 24 hours. They cannot take a shower, it's too much cold because uh, Riyadh, the uh, weather is so dry. So disadvantages of, uh, the, the disadvantage for, uh, for the tower, okay, it uh, depends on the humidity. If the humidity is very high, then uh, to become less, but in the midday, there is a, the humidity become very low. We are going to make a, a new product, totally in different technologies. Okay, it's uh, for people they need in winter hot water, and the people wanted extremely cold water in summer. So there is a, it will be with the different technologies. There is no compressor, no fan, nothing, just electric plate or electronic plate. Give it a power, it'll give you a cold. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.